Hey everybody, welcome back to Chandy. Today is going to be a very very short review just to share a little bit about the different purchases that I made in Marina Bay Sands when the circuit breaker reopened and Singapore actually allowed us to go out to shop. The shops are reopened, the boutiques are opened. So that is where circuit breaker actually ends on June 19 and Ruby and I actually decided to go Marina Bay Sands to have our shopping but it's, it's a very torturing process because every shops, every boutique that we enter we, may, we need to like scan our QR code in order to enter, exit we gotta check in, check out, check in, check out, check in, check out yeah but the good things was that we get some some good deals so for example the lovely dress that I'm wearing now is actually from Moschino it's actually on 40% sales so this is the black dress that I've got a very simple one and uh, I actually got a, a, a skirt as well um, from Moschino and then I got a Kenzo skirt as well which are uh, pretty good deal I think but it's not in this review but before we start let's move on to the unboxing review for the three new purchases that I've bought in Marina Bay Sands let's go Welcome back! So as you guys see that I have actually for this treats, I have actually purchased apart from the clothing um, from Moschino and Kenzo, I've purchased two shoes as well as one sunglasses. Let me share a little bit about the sunglasses first. That was actually my last, last purchase for the day because I realized that oh there was actually a queue in Dior and um, I didn't have my sunglasses here because it's actually too reflective. I didn't want you, you guys to see the reflections. So um, we actually queue up in front of Dior Boutique in Marina Bay Sands for like two hours before we can get in. It was a little bit crazy and due to social distancing, due to a very bad crop control, I think, um, we, we have to queue for two hours before getting in. And I just you know, I just want to justify my time queuing up and that's the reason why I got the sunglasses if not honestly there wasn't a lot of things that was on sales by the time we got in there's only a little bit of shoes a little bit of accessories and a little bit of sunglasses that was it, it I do think that it's definitely not worth the two, hour, two hours of my time definitely the first shoe the first purchase was actually this Christian Loops shoes Louboutin I love these shoes. I have been wanting to get these shoes for a long time. The sandals, uh, because I feel that it's so it's so pretty and casual at the same time. And it's casual, but yet uh, it has some style to it. But it's pretty heavy. This the shoes, and um, it's red in color at the bottom. So for Christian Louboutin for this particular shoes, it's actually ran bigger. So I'm usually a 35. For this one, I have to wear a 34 instead. So this is made in Spain and it's actually on sales. I got it for $696 in Marina Bay Sands. So it, it was unfortunate that I didn't get it in full price back then. Like I think two years ago when I first tried it on. So really happy to actually score this on sales. And I'm really happy to find out that this actually goes on sales. This was the only one that I've got and Ruby got it as well. Yeah, the, but it's really very hot. When we try it on in the boutique, we know that it's really hard and it might, it might take some time to break it in. The good news about this one is that we don't have to put any sole at the bottom because this is like rubbery. So I can just straight away wear it when I buy it. So it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. So this is the one, the Christian Louboutin one. Um, very beautiful. I think it's metallic colour. And then I needed a work shoe, something that I can wear to work after I end work or during work time. Um, 
like on and off but um i have been looking for a comfortable shoe for many many years and i couldn't find anything i hope that this is good for me on a daily basis i don't know but i, I would have to try i think the most comfortable shoes that i've got um but still too high for daily work is actually the saint laurent tribute which i really really love my feet actually can't fit a lot of shoes i'm usually wearing like sandals or, or like flip-flops like slippers out because my feet is like it, i just can't hurt my feet i don't know why i just it's just like it's really hard for me to break it in break in into any of the shoes it is just it's just so hurting and i gave up halfway and things like that so i don't know i just hope that this gucci mamont i think it's about 85 millimeter tall 8.5 centimeter tall i just hope that this will be a good one for work um it does feel pretty okay when i was in a boutique trying it on the height is perfect it's really sturdy because the the heels is like really thick you can see that's really thick um the height is perfect for walking i think uh, i don't feel steep at all it's it's really good so i'm just not sure whether will i feel hurt in the front like how long do I have to break it in? But this, according to the structure of the of the shoes, it does look already very comfortable. But I do believe that the front part I will need some time to break it in. But honestly, if if this is painful for me, then I don't know what else can I wear anymore. So I'm just hoping that this will be comfortable for everyday work. So I think that's about it, and I do have a, little, a few more clothings, but it's just I don't I don't have to like do unboxing for clothings or like a review for clothings as well. It's just too much work to do, and I really dislike changing my 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 clothings and all those things. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching Channel B. Please remember to like and subscribe to our videos. Bye bye.